Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm giving you an online shootout commentary using the Anaheim Ducks. This is going to be a thing where I go from Team A to Team Z. I'm going to use all 30 NHL teams, maybe the All-Stars, if we uh, can get there from the All-Star thing. And I'll do a little, little idea of who's going to make the All-Star game for each team. But anyway... We're going to start off the Anaheim Ducks, and this team came in third in the entire NHL last year with 109 points. They were a really, really good team. Some people, even myself, had them winning the Stanley Cup in the beginning of the year. I thought it was going to be Anaheim versus Tampa in the finals. I was wrong. But it was still really close. Anaheim is a very good team. They also made some pretty good moves in the offseason. They lost some good players in Boschman. Well, I wouldn't really say good anymore. Boschman, Edom, and Palmieri all left. Most of them were trades. And then they gained a lot of pretty, not a lot of pretty, but they gained a lot of players. Some of them are actually pretty good, and I think are really going to help the team out. BX is going to be a solid top four defenseman. Haglund's going to add a lot of speed and basically replace Edom, but I think better. Chris Stewart, Sean Horkoff, Mike Santorelli, and Anton Kudobin. Their team is, it's really good. I'd say top five in the NHL by far. They have a lot, of, not home, they have a lot of really good players on their team including Ryan Getzlaff, Corey Perry, Ryan Kessler, whose new contract is uh, for six years, I believe he gets seven point something. I think that's too much for him. I believe last year he had like 45 points, maybe 50 points, but seven million. I mean, today with the new contracts going out, like the 10.5 for Kane and Taves and all that stuff like that with the new salary cap, I mean, I guess he should be getting around six or seven, but in my opinion, I think giving him five million for like five years or six million for five years would have been better than seven because he is, I believe, already like a 30 year old. But anyway, we're going to start off this shootout. Obviously, there's not too much you could do this year. We're just going to try winning though with them, and we do not. But the things that you want to really look at for the Ducks this year are I know the Ducks always do great in the regular season. That's, that's how they always are. They usually come in top five in the whole entire NHL. But the thing is how they're going to do in the playoffs, and that was actually a really big save. I'm still trying to get used to these goalie controls, so I was just, I squeaked and made that save, luckily. But they have to look at Bruce Boudreaux and how is he going to actually carry the Ducks and my boy right here, Corey Perry, onto the playoffs. Like, that was a sick goal right there. But how is he going to carry them into the playoffs and go past the first and second round and get to the finals and actually win a cup? Because their team is, like I said, top five in the NHL talent-wise. They have some physicality on their team. Sorry, said that weird, but they have some physicality on their team and just, in my opinion, they have the complete package and everything. They've got speed, especially adding Haglin now. They've got like three or four pretty good goalies. I wouldn't say they have like, anything like a uh, Henrik Lundqvist or a Carey Price, but they've got Anderson. They've got Hudobin. I believe they have another rookie or two on their team coming up. They have Kessler here. Or not, he's not a goalie, but he's a good player. And, oh, they didn't count that. Oh, that would have been sick. But center-wise top talent right there and the wings top talent right there defense they don't have any like whoosh, wow that guy's like top two defensemen in the league but they have some good defensemen a lot of good solid top four defensemen on their team they've got some pretty good rookies i wouldn't say their rookie uh their prospect pools whoosh, it's huge but it's good but for them to get to the next step they need to get past the first two rounds and they need to get in the finals because Ryan Getzlaff and Corey Perry, they're not like 20-year-olds anymore. They're up there. They're 28, 29, I believe, maybe even in their 30s. So I'd say the Ducks have two, three more years that they need to win the Cup in those years. There are a lot of teams you could say that about. The Rangers are one of them. There are a lot of good teams in the NHL. In my opinion, the Ducks are the top. Not the top, top, because I think there's probably some teams that are better than them, but like I said, top five, maybe even top three. They have really, really, really good players on their team. And what I would say what they need is they basically just need Bruce Brujo to bring them to the uh, Stanley Cup Finals, and I think they could win. It depends who they're going up against and if the team gets hot or not, but they have such a good team, so much talent. They have everything. They've got speed, size, skill, good goalies, good defense, good forwards, good face-offs. They have everything. They just need to make it in the playoffs, which they will, obviously, I mean, unless something terrible happens, but they need to make it in the playoffs, get past the first two rounds, feel good about themselves, don't really have any injuries, which you can't really control that stuff, but... Bruce Boudreaux's got to do a good job, and in my opinion, if they're kind of shaky in the season, maybe you fire him, because just his experience in the playoffs, I mean, the Capitals, even with the new coaches they've had when they made the playoffs, they don't really go too far, because Bruce Boudreaux was on the Capitals for a while. Maybe you fire him, though. Maybe there's someone else there you look who has really good playoff experience, and just hire him and see how they do, but what is your guys' opinions on where the Ducks are going to go? In my opinion, 
easily going to make the playoffs. I think they're going to go to the third round and then they're going to lose. That's that's what I think, sadly. But their team got much better in the offseason. It's always been good in the past few years. And I think they're going to finish in the top three in the NHL. And they're going to get out in the third round to whoever may be. But that's my idea. What do you guys think? If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It honestly does mean a lot. And again, if you have any suggestions or what your ideas or the ducks are going to go, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. And again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys later. Back to my ways. People always ask how I got my nice things. Take my crown to the grave.